All right, I thought I'd make a video showing my very small but very functional 3D printing um, workshop or work table in my garage. Uh, here it is, it's just in the small corner where I keep my surfboards. Um, this is actually a metal table that I bought on, um, I think Amazon, I'll look it up. It's probably, it wasn't expensive. I bought a bunch, I bought a workbench, none of them were good. Then I just got a piece of masonite at, um, the at Home Depot, and they cut it. Actually, I have two. It was like enough to cut two and a half, so I went to work, waiting. Um, these are just silicon mats that I got on Amazon. They're very cheap. I think I got three of them for like eight or nine bucks. Um, and that's just the top part. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have the background here. I, I so what I did instead is I got these very simple shelves. These white. These two white shelves, and these are actual brackets that I 3D printed uh, from Thingiverse. That, that hold the stuff on here. It's very good. They're screwed in, so they're pretty sturdy. Uh, on this layer, I have uh, a thermometer that I got on Amazon. I got a two pack for like five bucks. It tells me the humidity and the temperature. So I know what the temperature and humidity is for this um, printer uh, station. I also got a paper towel rack and then uh, Amazon at the dollar store. Put up here, a uh, paper towel rack there. So basically, here's my setup. I got my table. It's actually, I leveled it. There's little, there's little things on the bottom that level it. I put my um, 3D printer, my, it's my Elego Mars 2 here. It's got some stuff on the tray right now. Uh, it's plugged in here to a little uh, cheap power. I got a power supply here that has both um, USB ports and regular ports. Um, this is a little box. I think this is the box that came with my Mars. Um, and it's got just a, it's got a pencil holder from the 99 cent store and a plastic cup from the 99 cent store. And it's got little tools. It's got the scraper that, you know, that came with it. A tool here, the Allen key this. Um, this is some uh, PTFE lubricant that you use for the vat. Um, little cheap grabbers from the dollar store that I use sometimes. Dollar store, uh, really good springy. Um, these, these weren't at Dollar Store, these are, I got these at Walmart for like three or four bucks. Um, a couple chopsticks that I use sometimes to store the vat. Uh, a marker. And one of my favorite items, this thing. This is a razor blade scraper, but it's plastic razor blades. So the Illigo Mars has a nice feature on it where you can, um, you can, clean, you can use the menu to, to clean the vat and make a square and then kind of squeegee it out. They give you a squeegee here. This comes with the Mars to squeegee stuff out, but if you want to be extra delicate and you can't get something out and something's really stuck, I find these to be killer. They work really well. They can also work if you get resin on here. You can use a little bit of rubbing alcohol and get these off as well. So pretty, pretty awesome thing. Um, the, the shelves I ordered, I know everybody likes to use the wham, bam, whatever. I actually got two of these, a set of two of these off of uh, AliExpress. These are the ones that fit the uh, Mars, 2, Mars Pro 2 apparently, but they were, I think for both of them, I'll look it up and put it in the, in the, in the uh, final dialogue of the video, but I think they were under 10 bucks for two of them. It took about, you know, four or five weeks for them to arrive from China, but it was also like a third of the price or a quarter of the price. Post-it notes and tape, the lid. This is captain tape, uh, captain tape that I use uh, in here to square off. I put a piece of FEP over my um, screen and I use this to seal it. It's a, it's a high temperature tape. Uh, this is for measuring out resin to dump and pour and dump and pour. Uh, this is the little bracket for holding the thing here. Um, the, the, the plate at an angle. Pen for notes. This is my 99% alcohol. I got these bottles on Amazon. For, I, got, I got like 20 of them for like 10 bucks. So I gave away a bunch to friends to use for hand sanitizer and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I got this. This is just water from when I was using water washable. This is just a little tray that I got at the dollar store, but it's nice because it's got a rubber, it's got rubber in here. I put down some shop towels, which I have a, a rack here, extra shop towels, put this down. And when I take this out, I hold it on the side and this is where I scrape off and take off my um, pieces of my, my prints, and put them in here. Oh, uh, we got a, we've got a bigger printer coming. I got a Mars, uh, not a Mars. The frozen mighty mighty 4k coming so i'll probably have to find a bigger one but for now this fits that tray fits right in there perfectly and it's really really nice i highly recommend it um up top we've got microfiber cloths and i bought a bunch and i cut them to squares these are the perfect size for cleaning out the bat if you have a if you have a, something gets stuck in there whatever you dump out the resin and then you use rubbing alcohol and i can use three or four of these and that way i don't waste a full-size microfiber towel i have this as little ones these are just extras 
that I lay around in case something bad happens. That's up here, that's an extra one here. Um, this is my piece of paper that I use to level my vat, or my, um, level my bed when I have to, just to stick it in there, put up here. This is what I use once the minis come out of this thing, and I, 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 underneath you'll see um, where they'll, they'll be, so I clean them in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Once they're out of there, I bring them here, and I take this IPA 99, and I spray, 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 and I scrub, 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 and then I put them in the uh, water, and then they're done. Um, when they're done, up top, moving, moving forward, I have these things. These are these are like Tupperware, like Betty Crocker Tupperware. I got at the dollar store. I think I got a two pack for a dollar, and they are they are clear. But what I did is I got just gray primer paint, and I spray painted them primer, put a shop towel in them. After I take these out of the water, I paper towel them off. I put my things in here. And then I put, I put my prints in here when the, after they're all cleaned and I put them like this to let some air circulation still block the light and I'll put these on a dark shelf inside of my office, or, you know, it's a heated room and I'll let those sit for overnight to 24 hours before I put them into the um, curing station. So I have two of those. They work very good. This is the, this is the little bin that came from my, um, that came from the ultrasonic cleaner. These are a game changer. I probably do a separate video on these just, just to give a shout out to people looking for something. They're, they're off of Amazon. I got a pack of three of them for like 12 bucks, I think. But they're, they're gloves that are nitrate finger gloves. They're not waterproof, like they're not, they're, the back is cloth and they're, they're kind of cheap and thin, but you can use them to take things off the bat without having to use these rubber gloves every time because these are the you know these are nitro gloves not latex so you can't use latex box of these because of you know with covid and everything in ppe these are 20 to 25 bucks sometimes the moments are sold out um and you know i hate if i'm doing three three batches in a day to like throw away throw away throw away or to not use gloves and burn my hands so what i do these things put them on then you just um little spritz 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 wipe them with a paper towel good to go again so i highly recommend these it's a good investment it's good for the environment it's also good for your pocketbook and it's also good with stuff being um sold out and then up here on the top shelf i have the world you know the glass cleaner with a with a jewelry grade alcohol things like two bucks at home depot highly recommend um up top this is a box of filters that i bought the filters and the rubber the filters that go into the your your, um, they go onto the top of your resin. This is the rubber. This is a rubber thing they came with. I was using this at first. It's very flimsy. I don't recommend it. Better yet, I went to the dollar again. Went to the dollar store, and I got a four pack of siphons um, for a dollar. And this is the one I stuck with. The other three I didn't weren't, weren't as good. They're too big or too small. This is the Goldilocks one. Um, I get my my. I got my. These are the resins that I'm actually working with right now. They're half done. Get this, put it in there, put that filter in it, boom, and you can drain your resin right back in the right back in the bottle um, from there. And then you just throw the filter. And I got a, I got a covered trash can here that I can cover and lock, so my dog, you know, hopefully doesn't get into it and die. Boom. So that goes up there. Um, all these things, and then this goes up here. And then I got some tenacious that I use, water washable. Ooh, there's some sticky stuff there. Um, a little bit of a clean that off, boom. Then, duck. okay, uh, water washable, whatever. And then, this is the one I'm currently working with. I, I like Soraya Tech, um, fast with a 150 mill milliliters of tenacious mixed in. Uh, and then down below, okay, this way, um, down below, here's what I have these are all my resins. Our garage stays pretty cool even in the summer, so if your garage gets too cold or too cold, maybe put them somewhere else. I put them down here. Uh, they're yes, they're by the electricity, but I don't think it's going to explode or catch on fire. Uh, this is the tub of Mean Green that I use. This is our ultrasonic cleaner. Um, I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link. I actually put some people put water in a plastic bag. I put the Mean Green right in here, and then at the end, after like you know months and months of using it, it seems to work. I've I've been using this bat for at least two or three months. Done hundreds of minis. It still works and cleans up fine. But when it's ready. I take this and I, I will dump it in here and then I will take this to our local, um, they, we have a, you know, has, hazmat recycling center like a couple, mile or two from my house. Uh, once, you know, every three months I'll, I'll fill that up, drive it there and that's really the only waste. That, 
uh, so this uh, and these two pickle jars. This is my two, oh sorry, pickle jars. This is the mean green pickle jar that when they first come out, I swirl them in for 30 seconds before I put them into, I take that pickle thing out and I put it in there and let it do five minutes. And then when they're done, I put them in this tray, squirt, 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 scrub, scrub, scrub. And then I put them in this for 30 seconds, spin them around. Then I put them, then I wipe them off, put them in here to dry for 24 hours. And that's it, right? Uh, but what I'm, but the, the game changer with this thing is a lot of people get it. And I read reviews or read, read comments online. People saying, oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't clean my things. My things are shiny. It'll look bad. The trick is this thing, um, this is the settings for how long, how many minutes you do it. Five minutes ultrasonic is pretty good. It shakes, you know, ultrasonic, it shakes it really fast. Um, but this has a heater. You want to use the heater on it. You set it to 50 degrees Celsius, which is like 110, 120 maybe, 120 uh, Fahrenheit. 50 degrees Celsius works on this with five minutes. It cleans them like nobody's business. With using medium supports on either like Chithu box or Litchi slicer, if you do five minutes at, at 50 degrees Celsius on this, when you take it out and, and, and go to, go to um, you know, take it out, out of the thing and go to, before you even spray it, the supports just fall off. I mean, 90%, 95% of the ports fall off and, and the ones that don't, you can very easily take off with your, um, with your nippers and it's, it's and then throw them in the trash. It's super easy. And then when they're dried after 24 hours, this is where I keep my little curing station. I actually don't like this one very much. I think it was overpriced. I think it's very small and it's not that powerful. Um, and I've had problems with it. I like a lot of Elegoo uh, stuff, but this one just feels kind of janky. And I think I got a bad unit. I'm going to be returning it, um, this week and trying and getting a better one. I think we, uh, with the Sonic mini, I ordered the pack or the Sonic mighty. I ordered a package of like the larger, curing station so i'll just swap this out return it and then get this one i've been i gave this one a shot but it's just it's been kind of a headache um and i think again elegoo makes good stuff i just i this isn't my favorite curing station i would have way rather just got like a nail you know the box like the curing nail thing with the spinning thing because this is just a spinning this little spinning thing um they're like uh solar power display things that just it's just kind of janky and for 60 bucks or whatever it costs not really worth it but that's it and then this is a cheap stool that i got at target for like seven bucks but that is all um oh one last thing favorite thing this might blow the camera out and shield it but these lights um these are just lights from target that i just you know they're screwed in the thing you can even double tape them but they're just um they're fluorescent lights so the fluorescents don't don't react don't seem to react with the resin too much but it lights everything up very nice and it's just, you know, these, these are, again, a big, this is a big shelf that I got. These are metal brackets that I got from Home Depot. These are 3D printed brackets. You could probably, I don't know if you want to hang a shelf. This is probably a foot long, foot sticking out. I don't know if you want a shelf this big, you know, with um, with brackets you bought, you know, you printed. Maybe you could probably, you probably do it. Maybe with ABS. But anyway, that's it. I made these three shelves. This thing, um, my whole setup, I don't think cost, I mean, with everything, not counting the printer and maybe the ultrasonic thing, it's just a couple, you know, two or three hundred bucks for two and two, three, two or three hundred bucks for everything you're looking at. But in this tiny, tiny space, in this tiny, tiny corner, it gives me the ability to print tons and tons and tons of prints. It's outside of my house. The fumes and stuff, you know, go out in the garage. But it's, uh, yeah, it's really great. So I, I hope this has been informative. Um, and I'd love to see, uh, you know, send me a link or uh, post in the comments of uh, what, what you use to set up. But uh, yeah, for the being, you know, being six months into 3d printing and three months into resin printing i think this is the setup that i came up with that was the most cost effective um that i that i could i could see using and i use it on a regular basis and it's done really well for me so